On this episode of South Hawk Computing, we're going to be reviewing and testing the Comtrend GCA 7000, and that's coming up next. <laughs> Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hawk Computing, and today we're looking at the GCA 7000 for Contrend. Apparently one of my previous videos that had the GCA 6000 got a lot of buzz and even got a little bit of Contrend's attention, and they were nice enough to send this unit over, or units, to review. So we're gonna take a look at it real quick and see what kind of speeds we get out of these coax to ethernet adapters. So I've already unboxed these guys, and as you can see, you have the adapter itself, power adapter, and ethernet cable for both. And they did come with a really easy quick installation guide. Not to worry, it's only about four pages and it's super simple to understand. Looking at the unit itself, on one side here, we have the connection for a television if you still need the coax cable to do so. The other connection is get, basically is the one that you wanna go to the other Comtrend unit and obviously the connector for the power adapter. On the other side here, you're gonna have your ethernet jack, your ability to quote unquote secure your coax connection, reset button, power light, whether or not you have a secure connection across the line, and ethernet slash network traffic indicator on the bottom right there. And on the second page, it tells you exactly what each light indicator does. So long as if everything connects correctly, you'll get a green light at the higher speeds. Obviously, depending on the quality of your coax cable, this will determine what your speed will be to the other Comtrend device. So after this quick tour, we're gonna hook up a coax cable to both. We're gonna run a piece of software to determine what kind of speeds we're gonna get through here. For no particular reason, I decided we're gonna use a product called Land Speed Test and see what kind of speeds we get. So let's get started. Hmm. Oh, before I forget, this is definitely not a sponsored video from Contrend. They were nice enough to send me this unit to review. Back to testing these guys, let's go. Okay, apologies for the mess. So right now you can see that they're both connected and synced on a standard hookup or link. We want to get secured. So basically we have to hold down these guys here to initiate the connection between the two, or I should say that top button right over there. Bottom one is reset. We don't want to touch that one. So I'm going to do that next by holding that one down. And then we do the other. Now, both uh, devices indicated that they've got a standard link. One of them says it is secure and the other one is not. We're gonna test real quick to see if it's actually working. Oh, I guess I was impatient enough. So both secure links are good to go now. And uh, we're gonna move over to the laptop here in a second and see what kind of speeds we get. And everything's all nice and synced up and let's see what happens. Okay, so just to be clear here, this is a simultaneous upload and download test. So there's going to be a lot of crosstalk when it goes across the cable. So going outbound, uh, 338 megs, which is pretty darn impressive and a nice, almost, uh, we got uh, almost a 90, well, let's round up. Sure, we got 90 megs uh, going down downloaded as well. So not too shabby. So that's honestly kind of impressive, even though we're not using the quote unquote DOCSIS standards that cable modems use because that's a completely different technology. There you have it folks, the GCA 7000 from Comtrend. Not too bad with those speeds, and it's a great solution if you want something simple to set up on the other side of the house, or you want to hardwire something. This is probably definitely the easiest solution to go with versus actually running ethernet to your opposite end of your home and or business. It just, within 15 to 20 minutes, this is done and ready to go. If you like what you see here, please give this video a big old thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, join our forums. It would be greatly appreciated. As always, this is Dan from South Hawk Computing and until the next time.